What's up everyone, Cold Fusion here, and welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Okay, so, want to address one thing before we start. Last time I noticed that the game audio was quite loud. Uh, at least the, um... At least the music, that is. So, I have turned the music down. I don't know how I can check that. Options, sound display. It was on 10. I always do this with Souls games. I always max out the volume. Uh, I dropped, that's why, I dropped the sound effects and voice to be low, and I put the music far up just for the boss fights, because, I don't, if, don't know if you're aware, but the, uh, Soul Series soundtracks are fucking awesome, so that's why I like to listen to them. So last time we fought this fucker, and we, uh, beefed him in a bit, I think there's still some extra dialogue I can have with him, so I'll probably want to focus on that, if I'm being honest. Inspect offering box. Offering box. Items that become unavailable. Oh, let's just move Mike closer a bit. There we go. Items that become unavailable elsewhere end up in the offering box. When the box is illuminated, it means an item has found its way inside. Okay. Huh. Unavailable elsewhere. Items can be obtained by inspecting the box and offering money. Ooh. I'm not quite sure on what it means by that. I need more of uh, a... I don't know. I need to be a bit more specific. Uh, I think I said I wanted to do free combat, right? Yeah, that's what we were going to do last time. Because I don't know if fighting him is going to be worth it if he has a side quest or anything. So I noticed I can obviously jump in combat. Oh, that's actually very useful. Uh, I kind of forgot I could do that to be honest. I'm not used to doing it in the Souls games. So I've been looking at like other people's gameplay just a little bit, and I think I'm pretty decent in the combat considering. Uh, I mean, I'm getting grips to it rather quickly. I just want to make sure that he doesn't have a side quest or anything. If I have to interact with him in any way. Have you noticed? Okay. I think that's all. <coughs> I suppose this is just combat training then. Right. Let's move on. Oh, hello! It's the woman. Emma? Uh, okay. Not really a very... Not a very Asian name. <laughs> I have the shadows turned quite low, so that's why it looks all pixely. It's quite distracting, honestly. Hi. Motto 
あなたが譲り受けていたのですね気づいているかもしれませんがこのひょうたんの薬水はおのずと湧き出します尽きたとて少し休めばまた満ちるでしょうくすしとしての助けとはひょうたんの種はおのずと湧き出しはい薬水はひょうたんの種より湧き出します新たな種を加えれば薬水の傘が増しでしょう、right. 手に入れた So upgrade in the flask I guess I don't have any, yeah. You do not have any gourd seeds. Okay. Oh, what's down here? It's a very suspicious door. Hug wall. Sealed from the other side. Is it supposed to be like... Ah, yeah, it's a rotating door by the looks of things. That's cool. Right. I think we better move on then. I've spent a while just chilling here. Grappling hook. The Shinobi Prosthetics Grappling Hook allows access to normally unreachable places and a chance to take the high ground. Nearby grapple points are designated with a circular symbol. When this symbol turns green, the grapple point was within reach. Left trigger is grappling hook. Okay. I understand. Oh boy, this is a uh, precarious. All right, that's quite simple to use, I suppose. Look at this. Shiner outskirts. This is very pretty looking. Okay. Beautiful. Obviously I don't want to drop to my death, so... Let's try and not do that. Right. Sculptor's Idol Travel. You can now instantly travel between uh, Sculptor's Idols that have already been communed with. Right. Still not sure what this prayer bead and memory thing is. I don't know what this is supposed to do. I'm assuming that it'll explain it to me at some point, hopefully anyway. Oh, I'm about to get attacked. Ungo's Sugar. Sugar candy made in Senpo Temple. Sustaining Ungo's Blessing. Temporarily reduces vitality damage taken from physical attacks. Okay. Bite the candy and take the Ungo stance to impart its inhuman benediction. By doing so, you endure the excess karma of man from the spirits within. Senpo monks spread this candy across the Shina in honor of her military heroes. Okay. Hello, sir. It is time for us to have honorable duel. Acquiring enemy loot. Enemies drop loot such as items and money. Multiple enemies can be looted at once and from some distance away. Items found in the world are different than loot, in that they must be approached to be picked up. Press and hold the X to acquire loot, and press X near a world item to pick up an item. Okay. Right, okay. Oh, so that's what this is. It's like black hole. Also, that wasn't an honourable duel. I stabbed him from behind. Can I use... hold on. No, it won't let me. 
I can do stealth attacks, that's good. I was seeing if I could, uh, I was pressing left trigger there to see if I could grapple him and like pull him towards me. That would have been awesome. Ceramic shard, a piece of pottery that breaks with a satisfying crack when thrown. Throw it at an enemy to draw their attention. Throwing and smashing such pieces made for a popular sport amongst the Shiner boys. Even after growing up, they remember the old games well. Is this supposed to be like the pebbles from Bloodborne? I assume there's some enemies up there that I can do it on. Hmm. I should be able to drop down there, actually. Let's try and do it. Oh, wish me luck, I guess. There we go. Echo's Sugar. Right, different candy. Made in, you know, same candy, of course. Boost attack power. Right. Bite the candy and take the Echo stance to impart its human, inhuman benediction. Okay. Right. We'll probably try setting that. Equip pellets there. Equip the damage boost there. And the idle there. Okay. Okay, it's right and left. I'm trying to remember the controls again, that's all. It's been a little bit since I played it. Oh, there's an item down here. Stealth Death Blow. You can perform stealth death blows on opponents unaware of your presence. The plunging death blow is one of these, performed when leaping at an unaware enemy from high ground. Lock on, jump, and then plunge. Right, so where's the enemy? There you are. Oh, that's dope. There's an item I saw somewhere. Oh, is it here? Okay. More pellets. Alright, I can't go back that way. Another ceramic shard. Uh-oh. These people are not very bright, are they? They have some pretty slow reaction times. Right. I'm gonna forget to loot people so fucking much in this game. And I hope it doesn't come back to bite me. Like, what did I pick up? Anyway, like, it's coins, obviously, but is that the currency? Litecoin purse. Yeah. It's Sen. Okay, so it is that. That will be the currency. Okay, let's hug this wall. Ok, 
countering. Oh, you can deflect shots. That's cool. Oh, it drags them from like quite far away. That's useful. Good to know. Another sugar. Right. Another pellet. I'm just, trying, I'm just trying to get, uh, keep an eye on every part of the environment where I can. Oh, I already was here, wasn't I? Yeah. It's okay, I'm glad that I know where I have covered and where I haven't. look around everywhere. Jesus, look at this place. We've got a big fort up there. We've got to go all the way through here first. Interesting. Oh. Oh no, I thought there was a person down there. I assume that's going to reduce the fall damage I take if I do that. Fuck is that? That's a creep. What? It's an enemy. I'm getting fucked up. Holy shit. That did a lot of damage. Fuck me. There's some weird attacks there. Okay, I can drop down here, so I probably should. Oh. oh okay, I see, I see, I see. Good. Doggo! I don't have any weapons. Can I parry these attacks? Oh, I can! See, I'm thinking it's like The Witcher 3 where I can't really parry beasts or monsters. I can only really parry the attacks from humans and, uh,. Humans and non-humans, but clearly not. Dude, can I parry, like, every fucking attack in this game, with the exception of, like, strong attacks? That's pretty cool if that's the case. What is this? A shuriken wheel. A mechanical device made by the mechanical genius Dogen. Can be fit into the shinobi prosthetic to become a working prosthetic tool. While it is palm-sized, a surprising number of shuriken can fit into the shuriken wheel, as the edges were designed for stacking. A fine example of what can be achieved when one matches mechanical finesse with a shinobi's talent. Right. So, can is there any way I can slot that in, then? Inventory. Key items. Upgrade materials. How do I upgrade this? into the prosthetic. 
Do I have to speak to... Ah, here we go, it explains it. Shinobi tools can't be used on their own. By giving them to the sculptor, they can be fitted to the Shinobi prosthetic. Uh, you can quickly return to the sculptor via travel from an idol, or by using the homeward idol. Right. Well, let's do that now, then. No, I didn't want to drink that. Homeward idol. Uh, temple. Let's go and equip this. Oh, that lasts a while. Okay. And she'll have some more dialogue, so I think I might speak to her. ことで、その牙は形を変えることができるように Right. Can be specially adapted to the prosthetic via the fit prosthetic tools menu. Okay. Loaded shuriken. Okay. Co wait, it costs spirit emblems to use. What are spirit emblems exactly? Right. Okay. I don't know what spirit emblems are. Equipment slots have been unlocked. There are three slots available to equip and switch out tools as needed. On the equipment selection screen, the controls can be viewed through Y. Okay. You seen something about a oh is it this? Oh. I have no idea. Wait, what does she have to say? What the hell did I just get? Weird. Right. Uh, there you go. Hmm. I thought it was just ash. Ah, 
無礼をしましたすみませんではまた Spirit Emblems They are required to activate tools and are consumed each time these abilities are used They can be obtained from defeated enemies in the world and purchased from sculptors idols If you pass near them they will find their way to you Oh so that's what that was How convenient I have two of them Right, let's go back to where we were. How much would they cost? Oh, not too, not that much. I'm not really gonna buy it though. I'll be okay for now. Important places. So that's where, like, the giant rooster is. How many pellets do I have? Only three. Am I only allowed to have three equipped? Yeah, that's what it is. That's why it says it at the top. If you saw it in the corner there, it says like I have a, a surplus of uh, pellets. I haven't used them though. I'm trying to see if there are enemies nearby. I can't really see many of them. Not fucking with that rooster again if I don't need to. Oh, there's a big boy here. Hello. Shall I engage him in uh, honorable combat? I think we shall. It seems like he's the only one here. Okay, fuck it. Hello, friend. Perilous attacks. Ah, that's the red ones. Some enemies use unguardable perilous attacks, signified with a danger symbol. When these occur, watch carefully and look to perform a specific response. This is really loud! Left bumper as frost lands, deflects. A before sweep lands, jump. For grabs, jump or sprint out of their range or step dodge. Sorry, uh, the volume's really fucking loud. I don't know if it's supposed to be. Alright. Okay. Is that all he's gonna do? Alright. Holy shit, man. I'm kind of being a bit greedy here. Oh, I thought I died. That attack's pretty bullshit, not gonna lie. I don't really want to fuck around by, uh, trying to, uh, you know. Alright, I can kind of manipulate that, uh, double slash he does. Come on. It's okay if I die here. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Well, we can keep trying it because he's right here. Wait, what? I can resurrect. All oh, right. So is that what the die twice thing is supposed to be then? The Divine Hair's blood grants the ability to return from the dead using resurrective power. One charge is always restored by resting at a sculptor's idol. Killing enemies restores additional charges. Resurrection becomes unusable immediately after using it, but killing enemies will make it available again. Okay. Okay. That actually kind of makes this light like, game way easier, to be honest. Oh shit. What the fuck was that? What did he just do? Is it like regaining posture or something? I thought I died again. I was too greedy, so... Well, I can try him again. I don't... I have a lot of difficulty with these fucking, like, mini-boss enemies. They're quite tough. Maybe it's just I... Maybe I just suck at fighting them. Oof. That's a new attack. Alright. Try it again! Experience towards the next skill point and current send in hand are halved upon death. Everything lost is gone for good. There are no known means to escape this loss, however, through the grace of the gods of Buddha, it may not be impossible. What does that mean? Can I pick my items up again? Oh, fuck off. I'm not dealing with you. Did I just pick them back up again? Where am I? Well, I can just pick my shit up again, right? There we go. That gave us a bit of an advantage. I. Are you fucking kidding me? What happened? He didn't live through that, did he? He just died. killed himself dude he was depressed he just committed suicide what the fuck oh that dude that sucks I wanted to beat him legit god damn it man so how do hmm no I just flat out lost my items like all of my currency Where did I die? It was around here, right? No, I didn't get anything back. What the fuck? So, so in this game you don't get shit back. You can't like recover your lost souls or anything. <sighs> that fucking sucks. Like the, in the entire point of making it so that you could recover your souls and shit was that you could just keep trying bosses over again and it, you know, as long as you picked them back up. And you weren't punished for it, you know, you just, you keep trying. Well, that's annoying. That means that I pretty much have to, like, try and take on every boss on my first attempt, which fucking sucks. Because you know that ain't gonna happen.
Oh, fuck me. Look at this place. Hello? What's this? A coin purse. Right, we've got a guard up there, a guard there, so we got two so far. Guard going down there. I saw one down here somewhere, right? Where was it? Or is it those fucking crows? No, he's down here. One, two... Hmm. There's a decent amount of them. They seem like basic guards, though, to be honest. I probably won't have much difficulty taking them out. Oh, fuck. Never mind. Right. Oh, these guys are still here, though. I'll see if I can wait for this guy down below to, uh, like, walk away, and then I'll try and get this... This guy here. Oh, I don't know, these guys are catching up. You're supposed to crouch, you cuck. I didn't even know there was a dude up there. And he can't see me because, you know, obviously. Assassin's Creed rules here. Yeah, don't worry about the... Don't worry about the dead body. There's no problem here, guys. There's nothing wrong. Yeah, yeah, just keep walking. Nani? Uh oh. I don't think I'm going to use stuff like that, honestly. Oh, I picked up a lot of shite. Not going to lie, I'm having a ton of fun playing this game. Like, uh, it took a little while to get used to, but uh, it's good. Oh. Hmm. So I could avoid conflict with these enemies, but I kind of want the XP, so I might just do it regardless. What's up, guys? Ah, oh, fuck me. What the fuck? What the fuck? That pisses me off. It won't let me do my fucking deflections at all. Amiibo Balloon of Wealth. Amiibo Balloon filled with fountainhead water imbued with a blessing of wealth. 
If one pops the golden Mibu balloon and prays, those its water splashes upon will acquire more coin for a period of time. Mibu means aquatic life or life born of the water. The Ashina consider the fountainhead water itself to be worthy of worship. Right, but. Oh, fuck me. Oh my god, look at this guy! What the fuck? Monka W? Dude, oh my god, no. Please don't walk this way, sir. No, 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 sir. Please. Look at this fucker! Holy fuck! Help! Help me! Get the fuck out of here. The answer is no. God, fuck me. Where'd that big guy come from? I didn't see him. Anywhere. And I fucking scouted the area. Oh shit. Do you think I'll be able to... Come on, guys. <laughs> Look at this shit. Go on. Come on, guys. You, you've got to organize if you're going to get across this ledge. No, no, you don't. One at a time, single file. Alright, let's go. Now you're supposed to crouch and walk. What is that? Hello? What? Got no, look guys, I'm, I'm trying to speak to someone here and you're fucking with me. Can we not do this? No, why the fuck are you here? Why can't you go in with your patrol? Guys, 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 guys. I'm not your son, say nothing. Uh. Nanja, damate shimote. Hara de muitai cano. Sonata wa, mukashkara hara o kudashias katana. Ma yoi. Segareo. Kono suzuo. Sonata ni takso. I need to deal with these guys. Young Lord's Bell Charm. A bell charm received from an old woman who asked that it be offered to Buddha. Bell charms protect their holders through Buddha's divine protection. If one finds themselves the owner of another bell's charm, offering it to the Buddha on their behalf is common courtesy. The sculptor at the dilapidated temple can advise on how it should be offered. Right, uh, where the fuck are these guys? Where is it? Yeah, I'm not going up to you lot. You're gonna have to come down.
Where the fuck did you come from? What the fuck's going on? Did I just die? Fucking chickens! Get in my fucking oven! You piece of shit! Fuck me, I'm so mad. I'm mad that these guys have followed me. Why can't they leave me alone? I could have burst through here as well, but fuck it. I just want to get to the next fucking location. Can you leave me alone so I can do that? Literally, I can't walk anywhere without... Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, alright. Stop playing the music. Let me move on. Christ. Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to go this close. Are you just going to walk backwards up the stairs? Is that, is that what's going to happen? You can't see where you're going. Just walk up like a normal person. Look at him. What a fucker. No way he detected me. Why do I play this fucking game? Fine. I'm sick of your shit. Okay. I have to do a thrust. Thrust. Fuck you, cunt. I swear to god, I hope I don't fucking die. Can I have, like, another, like, place where I can chill? Okay. Well, we're in a rather precarious position here. What the? F what's the point of this? Why am I here? Well, I have a feeling I'm not gonna find a uh, another safe area. So let's heal up a bit. Of course this... Of course he goes back on patrol. Oh, 
Oh my god. Wait, I can... Yeah, I can sprint. Why would I sprint the... I think I know where I can go here. Let's try it. Fuck was that? Do you see that? Like something was launched. I don't know what it was. Mibu Possession Balloon. A Mibu balloon filled with... Uh, am I pronouncing that right? Mibu? Or is it Maibu? I don't know. In, uh, higher chance of obtaining items. Okay. Another one. Oh, fuck. Oh, I know what this is. Oh, I saw this from the trailer. Look, look what that is. That's, that's snake shed. It just shed its skin. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, 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 no. He doesn't know. I'm a fucked. Scrap iron. Iron dregs mined in a shiner. Widely used for basic reinforcement, it can serve as a base material for prosthetic tool upgrades. A shiner is burdened with thick snow and infertile land, but a scrap iron dug from her soil is anything but crude. Oh, this... Oh, I don't feel so good here. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Who's doing target practice? That probably takes me back up there. Right, I'm not gonna do that then. Oh, I need to make this jump. Oh! Hmm, I'm gonna have to make this jump for it. Suppose so. Oof. God, that's kinda tight, you know. The timing for that. It takes a while for it to lock on. Right. Oh my... Look at that guy up there! It's the Alpha Chad. Oh, thank God. Oh, Christ. <laughs> That's good. I think this might be a good place to stop for this part as well. Considering that we've uh, ran through most of this area. I'm assuming anyway. I don't know how long the area is. I still haven't leveled up yet. Maybe one of these days I will. Rest. I think I will travel... Back to the temple. And next time, we will... Uh, We'll see what this bell charm does. And I don't know if we can have any upgrades as well. A new training option available. Oh, we'll do that as well. So I can learn the combat a bit better. So I assume that holding right bumper to thrust is a god break. That's what I'm assuming anyway. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, <laughs> it was a pretty eventful episode. A lot of, a lot of shit happened. Especially with a money boss fucking committing suicide, which was hilarious. That was so funny. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.